in our systems like uh, for example you have a debian system and you are a developer uh, how do you install those extensions you simply install php php pair and that php pair installation is used to install the extensions using the pecl command p-e-c-l so let's do that i'm going to show how to install it on the two or three different operating systems and if you just prefer to do it this way the normal way you are used to with your local systems you can do that in your docker images as well there's nothing wrong with it so let's do that and start with debian i'm going to start with debian from an official debian image let's say debian 10.5 and since it's debian i have to use apt update or apt gate update and then dash y since we no longer have those helper scripts i'm gonna get rid of them and i need to install some helper scripts like apt install you could also use apt get but apt is just smaller and i prefer shorter command apt install dash y php and php pair this one's also installed php fpm and this is the important part, PHP pair, because it allows us to install extensions. The pair technology is used to install those extensions, those extra extensions that we might need in our PHP image. Okay, after that, after installing PHP pair, let's enable them with PECL. Uh, install let's say g uh, gd vz2 mysql i these three extensions and once we do that pick uh, both installs and enables those extensions there we go you can also install other extension like xdebug but it will be a lot and it will take more time I don't want to make this video last forever that's enough so docker build and docker build our tag web app and the current context let's run it if everything goes well we will have no problem having our PHP extensions installed the focus here is on installing the extensions the normal way you would do with it, your local system and this example is specifically about Debian but you can use the basic principle that I'm telling here for other operating systems like Fedora, Alpine, other operating systems because um, they most probably have PHP pair with some other variants but they have PHP pair for sure you get php pair and then use the pecl command to install the extensions what happened debian 10.5 is not found okay let's find what tags are available debian debian docker debian docker mm, let's find it on docker hub let's see what tags are available i could simply use debian but i prefer using specific tags because it uh, keeps our images less error prone we if we know what version we are specifically using it's better because it can help us match our uh, image and the software that we are using in our image together docker pool debian let's check out the tags what tags we have we have tags for stable no 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 which versions I'm looking for a specific version of that 10.4 okay we have 10.4 this should be fine like a build dash T web app there we go it's being grabbed 
have to, does not have a stable at the update command failed why did it fail let's use apt get I'm not sure if they are the same let's run it again okay yes update uh, I just mistook that for Red Hat based operating systems we shouldn't enter dash Y for it and by the way apt and apt get have no difference what oh just make sure you don't make this mistake you should add and after between these commands it just stick them together you should add and between your commands as you can see it is installing first it is updating the image getting the latest packages and then it is installing PHP, PHP, FBM, and PHP pair. Now it's going to take a long time. Sorry for that. Grabbing PHP and its required packages and extensions I mean core extensions as this is being installed if you were on a local system and you are you were using a Debian system on your local uh, laptop or your local desktop system you would normally do the same thing to install these extensions on your system let's say we were not using docker at all we are on a local system and we are just developing and installing the extensions that we need and the software we need that's the normal command that we would use that uh, we would use in that situation and that's exactly the command that we are using inside the docker and docker is just Linux you know it's not a big deal there we go I suppose it's in the stage of installing these extensions okay we had a failure it's equivalent to break back install which stage was bz2 okay we repair looks like there was a connection problem but let's make this smaller use smaller extensions less extensions just run it again grabbing the dependencies come on
it really takes a long time and I hate this delay but sorry about that is repair and then the extension right unfortunately there's some problem with this image and I suppose that's because of these issues and issues like that that those helper scripts are created for official images to save you from these hassles so uh, sometimes it works sometimes it just faces some issues like that and uh, for that reason, it's better to use official PHP images from Docker Hub. But uh, one thing that I can show you and it works from the is from the Alpine image. So we failed in Debian, and but we can do that with Alpine and it will work. Alpine, uh, the latest version. Just let's use Alpine. I'm not sure which ver which ver version is the latest version of Alpine. And for Alpine, we have APK update. And then we have APK install. APK add is a command for installing software. APK add. And we don't need the dash Y flag. And pickle install MySQLite will work. All right. Let's run that for Alpine. And to make sure, let's also check the Alpine version. Alpine Docker. View available tags. Three twelve. Three twelve is one of the tags. Let's run it based on that image. As you can see, it is installing the packages, PHP packages, the pair packages. And then it will move on to install the extensions with the help of Peckle. This one fails as well. But this used to work. Why? No releases available for package MySQL. Maybe it's MySQL. Come on. No, not that. Oh, sorry, I forgot something. Uh, when working with Alpine, you should not use PHP pair because Alpine does not use uh, PHP pair for installing its extensions, and I just forgot that. In fact, it has special packages for PHP that 
is bundling the extensions in it. You don't need to use PHP pair for that. All you need to do is to go to Alpine packages page, Alpine packages, just search, search it over the internet and it will take you to pkgs.alpinelinux.org and there you will find all the packages that are available for Alpine Linux. Just search for the extension that you want with asterisk in the front of it and then you will find it. As you can see PHP 7 MySQLi. It often starts with PHP 7 and then the extension name follows. So here I change it to PHP 7 MySQLi. There we go. So no more use of PICL for installing PHP extensions on Alpine Linux. This is very important. And if you have other extension that you want to install like xdebug, you can search it here and most probably it will have a format just like this. Yes, PHP 7 PICL xdebug. So this is the thing that we must install the package php7 pickle xdebug now let's run the command for building the image and it should work There we go, PHP is installed. Come on. What? PHP 7 MySQLi. How is this possible? I'm just seeing that. PHP 7 MySQLi. And it just doesn't find it. PHP 7 MySQLi. It's weird. PHP 7 add PHP PHP 7 MySQLi PHP 7 MySQLi PHP PHP the search for PHP itself PHP I guess it's PHP 7 and PHP 7 FPM Just ridiculous. Why? PHP, PHP FM. This was not the problem here. Alpine 3.12. What's the latest version of Alpine? Alpine latest version. Three twelve zero. So maybe this will solve it. Just let's decrease these stuff to make our image smaller. Run it again. Let me connect to the charger. It seems like I'm running out of charge. I 
I don't understand. I already tried that, it was working. And it's not now. This is very ridiculous. MySQLi. PHP 7 MySQLi. Can you believe it? You know what? I found it. The problem is that when you add and, it just looks for a command. Yes, I should add it in the list of software. Now it will work, I'm sure. Because I was using on a separate line, it was expecting that to be just a command. But it was just one of the items that we wanted to install. Now it worked. So that's it for how to install different uh, PHP extensions on two different operating systems that basically uh, that's basically the same on different operating systems. You can find the extensions from the packages that are available on your operating system repositories, whether you are using a Debian-based operating system like Ubuntu or you are using an Alpine-based uh, image. You can grab the dependencies and images from your repositories. On Alpine, by the way, you saw that we have our PHP extensions packed in different uh, packaged with PHP 7 dash something packages that you can easily install without uh, resorting, without having to resort to PHP pair and pickle. So I hope that you like this.